All right, this is the Wings Mobile Detailing Automotive Podcast. Today's show, we are on the automotive business, and we're going to talk to we're going to talk to you guys about why should you get your car detailed when you just bought a brand new. Uh, many of you guys just buy a brand new car and don't see a reason to getting it, but we're here today with our salon in Virginia Beach again, another detailer genius. How you doing, Arsenal? Good man, how are you? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. So let's uh. Long time no see. A long time no see, man. The last time we did, we didn't do a detail for quite a while together. Yeah, I think the last time we did a detail was on the uh, well, on that boat. It was on the boat, like, yeah. All right, so let's jump right into it. I'm gonna play the introduction here for them, and then we're gonna jump to right to the point uh, to help people what to do with their brand new car. And this is something really important for you guys to continue to listen to because you don't wanna wait too long to get your car detailed because you're gonna have consequences and you wanna do it the yep. right way. So you just have your fresh brand new car, listen to this podcast and stay tuned after the presentation. Welcome to the Wings Mobile Detailing Business and Automotive Podcast. The only podcast that will guide you on how to start and grow six-figure companies. As our team expand from one business location to worldwide domination, you will get step-by-step -step insights from a millennial franchiser and franchise owner with your host, Andre Mezzalera. All right, so we're back. Arcelind, why should anybody get their, why should anybody, first of all, get their brand new car detail, man? I mean, it looks impeccably clean, and yeah. sometimes even the dealership comes on offer them detailing, but let's get to the reason, the comparison of a dealership detail and ours later, but yeah. why should they get their car detail? I mean, because some people ask, oh, my car's clean, do I need a detailing? And then I explain to them, that's what detailing is all about. It's protecting it, right? Yeah. Well, there's a, there's a mis misperception out there that detailing is about cleaning a car. And that's why most new car owners don't get their cars detailed because it's already cleaned. Um, but that's actually the wrong way of thinking about it because it's, it's all about preserving the, the look of your vehicle. So if your car is brand new, actually make that look even better than brand new and then we can preserve that look so that's what so that's when where the importance of detailing a brand new car comes about it depend depends depending on the budget it can it can be a you know minor protection of something like a wax or it can be something like a, like a ceramic coating or clear bras yeah. it's all about preserving the value of your vehicle and preserving the look actually making it in a lot of cases look even better um, depending on their budget and then preserving True. that and over if you look at actually what are some of the most expensive things when it comes to a car it's things like um, your paint paint damage repainting and repainting your car to the way it used to be it, it can take a lot it can take a lot of money so that's that's where the preserving that look of your vehicle kind of really comes into play yeah and one really important point is that you're right like it, it can take a lot of money to do a painting is more of, of a damage fix so that's we're getting right to the point because it's so it's worth to not uh it's worth to actually get the car detail at first the sooner the better and that's sometimes yeah. the misperception that people have uh with the auto detailing they auto detailing is not something that it's not a damage fix it's a damage prevention most times uh, exactly. because of the protection it offers through the clear coat. And you just bought a brand new car and you're thinking, okay, so that's another question that people do have now that you explained what detailing actually is, the benefits of it, is a lot of people, they're buying their brand new car from a dealership, for example, and they go and they get, you know, so let's say the car costs 50, 60, $80,000 car, $120,000 car. And the dealership, yeah. sometimes they add a detailing service to the bill. Right. And a lot of people, they're like, okay, it's with a car price. I might just as well pay for it because I trust the dealership for some, for some reason. And I was, 
uh, guilty of that too, of trusting the dealership with, spe uh, trusting them that they specialize in auto detailing, although no, they specialize in selling cars and not actually detailing cars. So uh, a lot of people f f fall into this trap of thinking, okay, I'm gonna pay this actual extra $2,000 on the bill for a detailing for whatever warranty of detailing that they offer because they trust them more because it's a a car brand it's a dealership brand it's mercedes bmw bentley whatever it is yeah and they end up falling for that uh but the thing is that i you know bro like it, i we, we get clients before where they trust more of the dealerships and they and then they come to us they call us which we're we are a mobile detailing company complaining uh, about the about the dealership that they shouldn't that they regret actually taking to the dealership because they spend too much money. I've heard this so many times where they spend too much money on the detailing, and it looks like the job was done well at times where it was clean. If they spend like two hundred or twelve hundred dollars on a car detail, which it happens a lot, and the car looks clean, yeah. but in reality, I got there actually. I don't know if it happened to you as well. But I got there and realized, dude, all they did was they put sealant on it, which is a good product. However, a sealant is actually, it's a way, it's way far from being $1,200, a, a sealant. Now they may think, okay, so it's probably a quality service. It's a dealership done detailing service. So that's why it's more expensive. And then we go back to look at the product that they used, a dealership. Not to hate on them, but that's the reality of things, you know. Um, we have to, in a way, put the people's trust uh, yeah. when it comes to auto detailing out of the dealership. No, I mean, we're just, uh, I'm pretty sure most dealerships will say the same thing, but that, that if you actually ask them that directly, they'll say that they don't specialize in that. Um, they don't specialize in detailing. And uh, it's just uh, you you hear all these stories about um about first of all you don't even have to listen to all these stories because if you actually just go to a dealership like we work with a lot of the dealerships here um in virginia beach there are dealerships such as like luxury dealerships like a, like a lexus dealership or an audi dealership and when a when a client brings their car for maintenance a lot of times it's included to do a detail on it and you know they're supposed to wax it and things like that um but their, their car wash is actually a drive-through car wash so they're hitting it with brushes or they're yeah. washing it with like long long brushes so it's and this is and this is a high-end dealership so imagine what the yeah. what the cheaper dealerships are doing um and then they're what they say their lives their waxes last six months to a year it's carnival based and things like that and it's like if, if you know you you know that that's not really um but that kind of that's true it, it sells it back to clients but it's a yeah it's, it's not it's not the complete truth um yeah. and they'll say that they'll, they'll hand dry it and things like that but it doesn't really matter because the quality it just isn't there they're all about most of the guys there are getting paid per volume um so that means like by volume then you get you know it, the more cars they do the more they get paid so it's yeah. not that important to take your time on each car um it's actually not beneficial for them in terms of getting paid to, to take their time on on each car so it's just things like that come into play overall the quality usually isn't there, um, and they're just not. They're just not paid usually good enough to be um, to care as much um, about about paint about things like that that uh, we specialize in or more detail specialize. In. Uh, yeah, and a lot of really great mobile auto detailers out there that can do a job with the warranty as well, because the dealerships at times they offer. You know, a, a lot of people actually buy a brand new car and they want to go with the dealership because they offer, you know, it comes with a paint warranty, you know, on this service. Yeah. And they don't realize, you know, any other mobile detailing company, if you're doing, you know, ceramic coating, depending, it, you can also get a paint warranty. But because your car, you have a paint warranty on your car, that doesn't necessarily mean 
that that's the best coding you know that you apply you maybe it's not worth to get a a cheap over-the-counter or a cheap type of auto detailing service done in your brand new car when you know and just because you have warranty on that uh, and especially not even worth it if you're paying three times as much you know money for auto detailing that an actual specialist that actually doesn't get over-the-counter products because they live off doing yeah. quality service and they want quality products uh offering service that's you know half that price at times and the majority of times man i can't i have my my brother actually he bought a uh a it was it was a honda but with any car but he bought a car and he paid on his bill 500 dollars for detailing which in our level of detailing it wasn't even considered our eighty dollars. I mean, that, to start with, that was crumbs on the on the glove box. Uh, obviously, that could have been one particular dealership. I'm not saying that all of them are like that. You know, majority of dealerships they can do a nice job, a really good job, but that product is still, as you said, you know, the guys that are doing it inside the dealership, they are there for quantity and not quality. So that's a great point right there. And yeah, I mean. He- Quick story to to tell you this, really. I think I told you this already, but uh, my dad's got a 2017 Lexus, and he wanted to get it polished, um, just to just to get rid of minor swirls and things like that. And he did majority he got most of the swirls out, things like that. But you can see pad marks, and you can see um, whatever they were using had too much vibration, or they were just they were just yeah. do it fast I'm not sure but there's 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 literally streaks of pad li- uh, pad lines on there yeah. so if you if you actually pay attention yeah as, as a detailer it's funny you, you just kind of see it almost immediately to my dad it looked it looked pretty good not 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 yeah. exactly what he wanted but um but it's not it's not quite there you know that's not, I mean that's the, that cool. would be a nightmare for us man to like polish a exactly, car and yeah. make it worse with scratches <laughs> that would be a nightmare yeah. for detailers <laughs> yeah and that, that's my point it's just the quality isn't there or I mean you and I have seen car uh, brand new cars that, that the client bought maybe a month ago or a couple yes. of weeks ago and they you know they want that good protection on there and there's just so much conditioner on everything. It's just so much oil. You can't touch anything. Every yeah. your fingers become become wet after that, and and it just all the dust, everything gravitates to all your hard surfaces, to your leather, to things like that. It's, yeah, it's not just about the paint. You're right. Like it's it's not just about you know that uh, the the paint service, paint coating. It's the interior. What they yeah. put. Sometimes they use silicone based products. Uh, that it's really not good for new cars and that's another point bro polishing as well uh, remember I think we've watched from uh, ammo New York City the detailer and he was coming with a video yeah. and explaining uh, when you get a brand new car the consequences of you polishing uh, any car any car that you polish polish is different for people to understand polish is different than wax and sealants you can never over wax or over seal your car. It's always just good for your car because you're applying a paste on top to protect. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. polishing, polishing is actually you're cutting through the clear coat. You know, co- polishing is actually a correction product, a cutting product, which is very microscopic, microscopically speaking. But you're cutting through the clear coat, and when you have a brand new car, brand new paint job, uh, clear coat on the car. Ammo New York City, they explain that uh, when it's the drying process in the manufacturer of the car, the painting booth, those initial gases, when you're spraying, it comes all on the surface. So you technically have a very thin surface of protection that exudes more of that sh- sparkling shine uh, from the car. So you, you want to, you, when you get a brand new car with a brand new paint, you want to avoid polishing the car even if you have minor imperfection, the best thing you do is just avoid polishing at all. Uh, so you're not getting rid of that sacrificial layer that's on top from the gases of, you know, when the manufacturer paints your car. 
and, and obviously that's that's a one little point, but it's still a nightmare to to get it scratches on a brand new car. Uh, but it, talking about the benefits now, uh, the, the benefits. So they got a brand new car, still, and they still. They a lot of people think, okay, let me just drive off of, off the lot. It's perfect. The paint. I trust the manufacturer because the paint is probably protected now because it looks clean, and it can sometimes even have some wax protection over there. Uh, but it's something that okay, should I trust? Whatever is on my car, it's brand new. Do you think people should trust driving off their car, you know, and waiting for it to get dirty before they get a detail, or why should they get detail at first? Well, they, they should they should get a detail first. They should get a detail and completely protect it, even if it's even if it seems clean to them. To most detailers, it's not as clean as they may think, or it's not as perfect as they may think. So and. Um, not only that, you want to, you want to, if, if you're happy with, with the way it looks, you want to keep it that way. And you want to keep it that way consistently, not, not just wax it once a year or not just put a sealant on it here and there and then not take care of it. Because even if you, even if you wax it, it still needs to be maintained. You still need those maintain, maintain washes and vacuums and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's something that has to be done consistently because you want to, I mean, Simply, when you buy a used car, do you, do you buy the car that, that, even if it's a little bit more, do you, do you buy the car that has faded interior, faded leather, there's cracks everywhere, and on the outside there's oxidation, there's scratches everywhere, or the car that's 10 years old but it looks like it was just bought like three days ago? Which one? Which one would you would you overpay for? Which one would you? Um, I mean, even if the price isn't the same, you're you're always going to go for that, for the for the better looking car. It's okay. obviously and speaks volumes about how you just took care of that car. Just not just detailing wise, but mechanic it, mechanically as well. It just shows that someone cares. So it's it's that element of trust, and it's that element of actually of taking take your vehicle versus someone who did it. Um, yeah, it consistently comes into play, usually. And if you and if you're someone who doesn't like to get their cars detailed that often then you might then you will end up paying more uh, if you're doing it once every two or three years because you probably need shampooing at that. You probably need a smart correction at that point. Yeah. We need a lot more work than if you're just getting it for the maintenance detail. But getting that more often that way your car stays clean throughout the year, stays protected throughout the year, inside and out. Um, and yeah, it's a lot so it's, cheaper it's about you starting it. it. Yeah, it, it's yeah. so true. It's about yeah. you starting it off the right way and taking advantage of the first, the first layer that you have on the car, taking advantage of that gloss. You're not jeopardizing yeah. that initial brand new gloss and you want to maintain that original brand new gloss for as long as you can. And by that, normally detailers will recommend, uh, obviously, to clay the car first because why clay it? A lot of people ask why clay the car first, but these are the steps that normally we go through for brand new cars. We clay it not only to decontaminate because there's not much contamination on the car, but to remove whatever old waxes that we don't know what's on the car. So we want to remove those and put layer that we know is good for the car that's scientifically tested you know, to be the best product for the car. So we put sealants on it or even ceramic coatings, which is the best type of protection you can put on your car, brand new car, go with ceramic coating. Uh, so that that's something that they definitely, you know, would want to look for uh, to clay it and apply good coating of sealant or ceramic coating on it so that it starts off with a clean car and you're not a year goes by and you're not like regretting of not making that decision we have a brand new car and then a year goes by and you start looking okay my paint is not as I expected to be a year ago or my interior leather it's starting to get gene transfer on it uh, starting to get dirty it's not repelling water well my floor mats they're not repelling water well either and now it's already dirty and I have to clean it so that's when you have to then wash your car and then detail it 
uh, yeah. applying the protection. So we want to avoid from having the regret uh, in the first in the first place. So don't wait to get your car detail, right? That's what we say, right? Yeah, it's, it, it is all about the consistency. It's, you know, are you... Are you are you gonna brush your teeth once, like every night and every morning, or are you gonna not do it for six months and then have to go to the dentist and spend thousands of dollars? It's the same concept. It's uh, are you gonna are you gonna wait till the car needs not only protection but complete restoration, or are you uh, are you gonna do it consistently and keep it looking good always and just paying the minimum detail and price? Yeah. Um. Yeah, man, and, and and that's what that's what we preach, and that's what we actually have. Uh, that's why we have a maintenance program as well for not only ceramic coating clients, but a lot of uh, just regular clients as well, because it, and it is it is based on that consistency, um, and, and you do save more, and your car is literally clean basically all the time throughout the year for years. Yeah, it's it's all about that. It's all about me maintaining and. <laughs> You want to get maintain your car looking when you got off the manufacturer, the dealership, looking the same as long as possible, and even better when it rains. You know, ceramic coating would make it even, look even better. Meaning, when it rains, the the dirt's not going to stick to it. So it's all those benefits, guys, and uh, just like Arslan said, you know, it's it's worth it. At the end of the day, it's definitely worth it. You're not detailing. Detailing is about maintaining the protection. It's not a car wash. It's different. You can obviously detail a car to clean it. You know, that's what it is about as well. But uh, it's worth paying that. And it's not worth paying twice as much that extra to a dealership. You know, to not... You know, call an actual detailing specialist. You know, call an auto detailing specialist and they will... Someone reputable in your area... And if you guys call us, we can certainly help anyone that's whatever area you're in, what part of the country you're in. Uh, call us and we'll, or send us an email. You can find us online with the same name. Uh, and we'll help you out. We'll see you, you know, give you tips and tricks. But for now, I guess this is it, right, bro? Yeah, man. That's cool. All right. That's cool. Thank you guys for listening to the podcast. And we'll... Uh, we have blogs as well on our website, Wings Mobile Detailing. Uh, we have blogs, and you guys can read it over. We have the blog on the same topic as well. So you type our name on Google, you'll find it as well. Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and we have more business and automotive detailing podcasts coming up.